Hello and welcome, my name is Maria de Souza. I am a Feldenkrais and a yoga teacher. I focus my work on posture, not, not only because good posture makes you look good, feel elegant and boosts your self-confidence, but also because good posture keeps pain away. Now, something that you might not realize is that most of these ailments and conditions that people suffer with are a result of misalignments and imbalances in the body that we will create as we go about life. So today I'm going to talk about something that is one of the um, uh, reasons we have those imbalances, uh, imbalances and misalignments in the body and one of the th things that can create all these misalignments and imbalances in the body and that is sitting. How do you sit? Now I'm going to turn this around it's better. So common sitting when you sit, when you sit like that, there's a gap here from uh, between the back of the chair and the pelvis. When you're sitting like this, you are sitting on your tailbone, and we're not designed to sit on the tailbone. Have you ever seen animals sitting on their tailbone? Have you ever seen your cat or your dog sitting on their tail? No. What do they do? Tail back away from. Uh, the bum and then they sit. We need to do the same. Imagine you have a tail so every time you sit you need to take your tail away and you sit on your sitting bones. So what are, what are sitting bones? Where are they? What they, do they do? Now your sitting bones are in your pelvis and let's find them. If you don't know where they are, don't um, feel embarrassed or bad because a lot of people don't know. The other day I asked someone, I was explaining this lesson, I said, do you know where your sitting bones are? And the answer was, oh, I think they are in the back of your neck. So, and this is not ignorance or um, it's just a lack of understanding and it's because people don't know because we are not told um, told these things in school uh, no one ever taught us our sitting bones where they are what they do and how they can help us to keep away from pain no one teaches these things okay so it's very normal that people don't know um, what the sitting bones are and it's very normal that people are creating all this pain to themselves because no one is teaching us these things and that's why I'm here uh, trying to save the world from slouching and being in pain so your sitting bones are in your pelvis so you lift one one buttex bring it down and if you have a hard surface like I do you're gonna feel you're gonna hurt your hand so don't hurt your hand and you move back and forth and you'll see a bone in your hand that's one sitting bone lift the other side and you'll feel the other um, sitting, um, sitting bone so you have two sitting bones in your in your pelvis. Imagine your sitting bones like baby feet. They are there to support your torso, to receive the weight of your torso and your head. Just like your feet receives the weight of the body when you stand, they receive the weight of your body, they support your body. The same thing for the sitting bones. They receive the weight of the body, and they support the torso and the head, okay? So, when you are here, you're not sitting on your sitting bones, you are sitting in your tailbone. Around your tailbone, what you have, you have ligaments, you have nerves, you are sitting on all that stuff. And what does it do? It's pain. Sciatic nerve pain. So this is where all this comes from, okay? or one of the reasons you may have 
pain around there in your pelvis, in your um, in your lower back, everything contributes to that. It's not, is never or hardly ever, unless you had an accident, it hurts for me to be like that. Unless you have a, a, an accident, an injury, it might be the only reason why you have that pain. But as a general rule, if you have pain in your pelvis, say sciatic nerve, in your lower leg, in your lower back, and if you didn't have an injury or an accident, then it's a combination of lots of things, of sitting like that, of crossing the legs like this, of standing uh, like that. I've got a video about standing. So it's a combination of, 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 of it all. So the more you know how to organize your body, the less pain you will have, the better you will look, the more confidence will arrive, will boost out, and the more elegant you will feel. Okay, so where was I? The sitting bone. So every time you sit down, you come to sitting, the first thing to do is to connect your, what I call your best friends. They are your sitting bones because they are your best friends because they help you to keep a torso upright, give you good posture and everything that comes with good posture. What is it? Looking good, feeling elegant, boosting your, feel, your, 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 your self confidence and keeping away from pain. If you have something that helps you to do that, it can only be considered your best friend. Do you agree? Let me know below. So, your best friends help you to keep good posture. So every time you sit, come and sit on your sitting bones. And you are here. Whatever you do in your desk, mobile phone, Let's not be here. Let's be here on mobile phone. Ta 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 ta. Um, reading a magazine, um, whatever you do. You can also sit back, but it depends on of the, of the chair. Chairs. The people that make chairs, they. Their um, design idea doesn't start with, oh, what's good posture. Their design idea comes from, mm, how does it look? Looks good. What color? And this and that. They're not thinking of your posture and, and protecting you from aches and pains. Um, they are thinking of making it attractive to sell. And that is design, color, and shape. So most cha chairs are not designed for good posture. So you need to adjust yourself, you need to adjust your body, you need to understand all this technique. Uh, you need to understand posture for you to maintain good posture and keep away from pain and look good when you come to sit on a chair. So this chair for instance, can I come and sit all the way back? So how do you keep good posture eh? and still feeling your sitting bones and resting your back at the same time? Well you need to bring your bum all the way back. The back of the pelvis needs to rest on the back of the chair. So this chair is not too bad. I can rest my back, I still feel my sitting bones and I can rest my, my back and here beyond my mobile phone or reading a magazine, it's, it's okay. But there will be chairs that won't allow you to do that. Maybe your feet will be in the air and that's not good because then um, you uh, bring tension straight to the pelvis. Maybe uh, whatever the chair is, okay? Uh, there's all kinds of chairs. So you need to feel for yourself to um, test test the chair or to experiment different things to see if the back of the chair can support you with good posture. Some chairs can, some, some chairs don't. If it's a sofa, for instance, and I'm not saying that in a sofa you can't lounge down and um, watch the movie with the feet on the floor. That's a different story. You can do that. That's not what I'm talking about here. What I'm talking about here is your day-to-day -day sitting at the desk when you are waiting for an appointment, when you are eating your meals. This is 
is what I'm talking about. I'm talking. I'm not talking about when you you get home and in the evening you watch a movie in the sofa and you lounge down and, and that's all okay. okay we we'll talk about that in a different. And, and I always teach that in my trainings and the courses. I make the difference between one thing and the other. Okay. So this is not what I'm talking about here. Um, so uh, when you come to sitting, I connect you. Notice what chair do you have, and you connect to city bones, and you're here, okay, with long torso. Now, oh, it gets tiring to be there. Well, it gets tiring to be here as well. It's the same thing. Why does it get tired? Tiring. Sorry, my English. Why does it get tiring? Um, when we sit down, or whatever posture we have, if we are with bad posture or with good posture, you always be to you always get into a point that your body is telling you it's enough. That is because it is enough. We are not designed to be sitting for hours, um, for hours on end. Whenever your body is complaining, is your body telling you? That's enough. Let's get up. And all you have to do is to get up, go for a walk, go up and down the stairs, move the blood, make the blood circulate, um, get muscles move, get the joints moving. You know, it's your body telling you it's enough. And all you have to do is to respect that it's enough, as opposed to force yourself to be there and then be in pain. Okay? Don't create your own pain. That's no need for, there's no need for you to create your own pain. When you understand how the body works, how, how good posture works, then apply, then, then respect your body limitations, okay? So every time you sit down you, and you, then you get tired, then that's it. You get up, go for a walk, come back and sit again, okay? So, this is all uh, I have to say. There's much more I could say, um, I could teach you, but I do that in my trainings that I teach around. So if you want to bring me into your office or to your tribe, to your groups, to um, your family, and to explain all this, uh, I'm very happy to do so. Also have a look at my digital um, courses where I teach all this stuff. So that's all I have to say this, I mean this video. Thank you very much for watching. If this was useful for you, please give me the thumbs up and share it around with your tribe. Leave me comments below. Um, if you have any questions, requests, please put them below. And thank you very much for watching and I'll see you at a next video. Bye bye now.